Time to play with some clay. I'm just getting ready to uh, edit some video from today. And I wanted to stop and uh, ask you to do something. Like, subscribe, click the bell, and make a comment in my videos. And check out my instructional DVDs, which are linked below this uh, video. All right, let's get on with today's video. I'm going to redo this shield. It's a little uh, lopsided. Yeah, I like his hair with braids in it. Uh, I'm going to put his scalp lock back here. That would also be a braid. I just got to figure out how I'm going to make it a small braid because it would, it was, it would be a real small braid. The hardest thing is getting the texture and the form of the hair just right because the braids determine how the hair is on his head.
I'm going to take a moment here and promote my nine instructional DVDs that I have available. You can uh, look at a review of each one at a link that I've supplied in the video description below this video. And I'd uh, really appreciate it if you would uh, take a look at them and those of you interested in sculpting. And uh, maybe purchase one or two or more. I've uh, put over 50 years of my experience of sculpting little tips and tricks into these DVDs and uh, they'll play on your Blu-ray player, they'll play on your computer if you've got a computer with a DVD player that is nowadays they don't have many you can always buy an external DVD player but uh, anyway just take a look and uh, consider maybe purchasing some of these your purchases help me keep going So nice to have breeze coming in from the window. There'd be a little triangle shaped patch or part in the hair and that's where the uh, scalp lock would be come braided from. And the way I know that is, is Charlie Russell one of the original Western art painters lived among the Indians for a while and he drew little sketches in letters to friends and one of those letters showed how they parted their hair for the uh, scalp lock. Okay, that turned out pretty good. Now 
I just gonna make an end for the that uh, scalp lock and I gotta fill in behind it I can't fill in behind this uh, braid here so that's gonna add a little bit to the casting cost but I can't help it All right, tomorrow I'll make some feathers, maybe one feather, maybe two. All right, that's going to be it for today. And uh, I'm not sure I'll be here tomorrow because I've got a friend coming in from out of state. They're going to Yellowstone Park, I think, either today or tomorrow. I'm not certain. But I think they're coming in and going to be here either Thursday or Friday. I can't remember what they said. But, uh, I'll be busy with them. I got some filling in to do underneath the uh, hair here. And work to do on the, uh, ribbon that's going to hang from his uh, braids and from his uh, scalp lock. Got to work on his chest right there. Do that tomorrow. All right, good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Whatever next time is. <laughs> Stay safe, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.